Welcome back to our Kubernetes series. Today, we dive into the Kubernetes replica set, a crucial component in ensuring your applications run smoothly. Kubernetes replica set, you might wonder, what does that even mean? Well, to put it simply, a replica say is a Kubernetes object that ensures a specified number of pod replicas are running at any given time. Think of it as a conductor in an orchestra, ensuring that each musician is playing their part correctly and when one musician falters, another steps in to continue the melody. The replica set works in a similar fashion. It maintains a stable set of replica pods running at any given time. But why is this important? Imagine you have an application that needs to handle a large number of requests. One pod simply won't be enough. You would need multiple pods to handle the load. But what if one pod fails or is deleted? That's where a replica set comes into play. It ensures that if a pod goes down, another is spun up immediately to take its place, ensuring that your application continues to handle requests without any hiccups. The beauty of a Kubernetes replica set lies not just in its ability to maintain the desired number of pods, but also in its flexibility. You can easily scale up the number of replicas when you anticipate higher traffic and scale down when the traffic is low. This dynamic scaling is what makes Kubernetes so powerful. In essence, a replica say is like your personal watchdog, constantly monitoring your pods, ready to replace any that fail ensuring your application is always up and running, ready to serve your users. It's the unsung hero that keeps your Kubernetes orchestra playing without missing a beat. Now that we've grasped the basics of a Kubernetes replica set, we'll move into its architecture and functionality. Understanding the architecture of a Kubernetes replica set is key to leveraging its capabilities. So let's dive in. At the heart of Kubernetes, Replica set architecture is the concept of multiple layers. Think of it as an onion. The outermost layer is the replica set spec, followed by the pod template, and finally, the actual pods. Let's start with the replica set spec. This is essentially the blueprint for the replica set. The spec dictates the number of pod replicas the replica set should maintain. It's like a master plan guiding the replica set's actions to ensure the intended number of pods are always running. Next, we peel back the layer to reveal the pod template. This is where things get interesting. The pod template is a template for creating new pods. It includes the pod spec, which describes the desired state for the pods, including things like the containers that should be running, the volumes to be mounted, and any other specifications needed for the pod to function properly. Now, let's delve into the center of our architectural onion, the actual pods. Pods are the smallest and simplest units in the Kubernetes object model that you create or deploy. A pod encapsulates an application container, storage resources, a unique network IP, and options that govern how the container should run. A Kubernetes replica set ensures that a specified number of pod replicas are running at any given time. If a pod goes down, the replica set automatically creates a new one using the pod template. If there are too many pods, the replica set removes the excess. It's like a vigilant supervisor continually checking on its team of pods, making sure they're at their posts, doing their jobs. Understanding these layers and how they interact is like having a map of the Kubernetes replica set architecture. It empowers you to navigate the system, to leverage its capabilities, and to ensure your applications are running smoothly and efficiently. With this architectural understanding, we can now delve into how a Kubernetes replica set functions. A Kubernetes replica set may seem complex, but its function can be broken down into simple steps. Let's dive into the nitty-gritty of how a Kubernetes replica set operates. The primary duty of a replica set is to maintain a stable set of replica pods running at any given time. It's like a diligent supervisor keeping a watchful eye on the number of pods in a system. Imagine you have a web application that needs to be available around the clock. You can't afford downtime, so you have multiple replicas of your application running concurrently. This is where a replica set steps in. 
the replica set checks the number of replicas and compares it with the desired count you've specified. If it finds any discrepancies, it takes action. If there are fewer pods than required, the replica set creates more. If there are too many, it eliminates the surplus. It's like a balancing act, constantly ensuring that the number of pods aligns with the desired state. The replica set uses a template, which is a blueprint for creating new pods. When it needs to manufacture more pods, it uses this template, like a cookie cutter producing identical cookies. The template includes details such as the pods labels, the container image to use, and any specific configurations. Remember, a replica set is not just about creating pods. It is also responsible for deleting extra pods. When the replica set notices an overabundance of pods, it starts the deletion process. The pods to be deleted are chosen based on certain factors like the time of creation and the readiness of the pod. In the world of Kubernetes, the replica set is a vital component. It's the engine that keeps your application running smoothly, managing the life cycle of pods and ensuring that your application is always available to your users. Understanding the functioning of a Kubernetes replica set is key to managing our application's replicas effectively. It's like having a personal assistant always ensuring that your application is performing at its best, maintaining the balance and keeping things running smoothly. And that's the magic of a Kubernetes replica set. Kubernetes replica sets are not just theory. They have practical applications in real-world scenarios. Let's delve into some of these use cases to better comprehend the versatility and utility of Kubernetes replica sets. First up, Let's talk about maintaining service availability during updates. In a perfect world, software updates would happen seamlessly without any downtime. But we all know that's not always the case. This is where Kubernetes replica sets come to the rescue. They ensure that a specified number of pod replicas are always up and running. So when you're updating your application, replica sets can create new pods with the updated version while still keeping the old pods running. Once the new pods are ready to serve traffic, the old ones are gracefully retired. This provides a seamless transition with no downtime, keeping your services available at all times. Next, let's consider the scenario of managing the load of an application. Picture a popular e-commerce site during a massive sale. The traffic surge can be overwhelming, but with Kubernetes replica sets, you can meet this challenge head on. Replica sets allow you to easily scale up the number of pods in response to increased traffic, ensuring your application remains responsive and efficient. Once the traffic surge subsides, you can scale back down. This elastic scalability is a vital feature for handling real-world load variations. Another interesting use case is the self-healing aspect of Kubernetes replica sets. In an event where a pod crashes or becomes unresponsive, the replica set automatically replaces it with a new healthy pod. This ensures that your application's performance remains consistent and reliable, enhancing the overall user experience. Lastly, Kubernetes replica sets are instrumental in multi-zone deployments. They can distribute pods across different zones, ensuring your application's resilience against zone failures. This geographical dispersion of pods enhances your application's high availability and fault tolerance. These use cases highlight the importance and versatility of Kubernetes replica sets in managing applications. Before we wrap up, it's crucial to recap the essential points about Kubernetes replica sets. We've taken a deep dive into this topic, so let's pull up the anchor and look at the bigger picture. We began by defining Kubernetes replica sets which are a crucial part of the Kubernetes ecosystem. They are a next-generation replication controller designed to maintain a stable set of replica pods running at any given time. Think of them as a safety net, ensuring that your applications are always up and running, no matter what. Diving into the architecture, we explored how replica sets form a layer of abstraction over pods. They're like the puppet masters pulling the strings, ensuring the specified number of pods are always running. 
It's the replica sets that are doing the heavy lifting behind the scenes, continuously checking and adjusting to keep things on an even keel. We then looked at how replica sets function. They operate based on a set of rules defined in the replica set manifest. If a pod goes down, a new one springs up in its place, like a phoenix from the ashes. And it's not just about maintaining numbers, it's about ensuring that each pod is healthy and functioning effectively. Then we moved on to real-world use cases. Replica sets are like the unsung heroes of the tech world, working in the background of everything from online shopping platforms to streaming services. They're the reason why you can binge watch your favorite show without a glitch or shop online during peak sale time without the site crashing. In conclusion, Kubernetes replica sets are an integral aspect of any robust application deployment, providing the resiliency and stability needed in today's digital world. They're the guardians of your application, tirelessly working to ensure that your services are always available to your users. With this knowledge of Kubernetes replica sets, you're now equipped to manage your application replicas more effectively. Stay tuned for more insights into the world of Kubernetes.